Good evening, and welcome to Election Night in America 2024. We want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world into the Election Predictions Official Election Center. My name is Ryan Guest, here to bring you a prediction for Pennsylvania's United States Senate race in 2024 between incumbent Democratic Senator Bob Casey Jr and his presumptive Republican opponent, David McCormick. A businessman, McCormick unsuccessfully sought the Republican nomination in 2022, losing to Trump-endorsed Mehmet Oz, popularly known as Dr. Oz, by just 0.07%, and a margin of less than 1,000 votes out of the more than 1 million votes cast in the Republican primary for Pennsylvania's 2022 Senate race. The primary went to a recount where Oz's lead held firm. Ultimately, the celebrity doctor went on to lose to Democrat John Fetterman, then Pennsylvania's lieutenant governor, in the general election by a margin of nearly 5 percentage points. It was a massive underperformance for Republicans given that Oz held a narrow lead in polling average trackers, headed into election night. It also marked the first time that Democrats would hold both of Pennsylvania's Senate seats since 1947. Now here in 2024, after disappointing Senate results nationwide in 2022 for the GOP, largely attributed to poor candidate quality, David McCormick's re-entry into the Republican primary field was seen as a major victory for establishment Republicans, namely Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who strongly believes that McCormick is Republicans' best candidate to defeat Casey in a general election. That being said, the data invariably shows that that will not be an easy task, as the incumbent Democratic Senator has a positive net approval rating of plus 15, according to Morning Consult's latest quarterly survey of U.S. Senator favorability. Casey is approved of by 46% of Pennsylvania's electorate, compared to just 31% disapproving. Granted, Casey's approval rating ranks in a tie for 66th place out of 100 senators on Capitol Hill, which is not necessarily awe-inspiring. But here is what is. The Democrat has won six consecutive statewide elections in Pennsylvania dating back to 1996, when he was first elected state auditor. Casey then briefly served as state treasurer before first being elected to the U.S. Senate in 2006 defeating then-incumbent Senator Rick Santorum by 18%, the largest ever margin for a Democratic Senate nominee in Pennsylvania's history. Then, as shown on screen here, Casey was re-elected by 9% in 2012, and then again to a third term in 2018 by 13%. The 2012 election, which happens to be the last time he ran during a presidential election year, stands as the only statewide election in Casey's entire electoral history that he has not won by a double-digit margin. There's a reason he's thought of as a powerhouse in the Keystone State, and although the last two presidential elections in Pennsylvania have been decided by very narrow margins, Casey is expected to run several points ahead of the Democratic presidential candidate no matter the environment. And that bodes especially well for his chances in 2024, as the state is expected to be decided by a similarly narrow margin in either direction once again. Taking a look at some race-specific data, I created an average based on the recency and reputability of the polls conducted in this race thus far, and Casey holds a 7.4 point advantage over McCormick in these head-to-head -head surveys. 46.4% of survey respondents favor the incumbent at this point, compared to 39% backing his prospective challenger. As for race ratings, I have compiled a list of the available 2024 Senate forecasts for this Senate race in Pennsylvania, and all five currently have it favoring Democrats. Cook Political Report rates the contest as leaning Democrat, Sabato's Crystal Ball, Elections Daily, and Split Ticket have the race as likely Democrat, while Inside Elections believes the race will be slightly more competitive, at Tilt Democrat. 
Now that is all of the available data concerning Pennsylvania's Senate race. It's sure to be one of the most expensive of the 2024 cycle, as Democrats face a challenging Senate map and very low odds of retaining their narrow majority at this point in time, given that they are defending 23 of the 33 Class 1 seats up for election in this cycle including six states that Joe Biden won by a single-digit margin, including Pennsylvania, as well as three states that Donald Trump had won in 2020. In the two previous Senate election cycles that coincided with presidential elections, 2016 and 2020, only one senator, Susan Collins in Maine in 2020, was elected in a state that was won by the presidential nominee of the opposite party. It's going to be a suspenseful night of tabulating results here on November 5th, 2024, and the first results out of Pennsylvania Senate race are now just moments away. It's 8 p.m. on the East Coast, and the polls are closing in Pennsylvania, the Keystone State. Both in name and practice, Pennsylvania has consistently been a key battleground now in presidential contests over the last several election cycles. And with split ticket voting now more rare than ever, this year's Senate contest is expected to be a close one as well. EP official has a key race alert coming in right now. It's too close to call in the state of Pennsylvania. No surprise here as we anticipate a close finish tonight, and although improvements have been made to the vote tabulation laws in the state, Pennsylvania is one of the slower states in the country in terms of counting votes. We will be keeping a close eye on this race though once votes do start coming in. Republicans are looking to claw back power in Pennsylvania, as Democrats currently hold both U.S. Senate seats, the governorship, a majority of its U.S. congressional delegation, and the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. The last time Republicans won a U.S. Senate seat here was in 2016. And with that said, we do actually have our first votes coming in right now. Take a look at this. With just 3% of the estimated vote share in, the incumbent senator, Bob Casey, has a commanding lead. He holds 78% of the vote right now, to Republican Dave McCormick's 20.7%. Most of this vote is coming in out of the Philadelphia metro area, a heavy blue area at that. Nearly 7 million votes were counted in Pennsylvania in 2022, so we do have a long way to go here. We'll be back with more coverage right after the break. Let's take another look at the state of Pennsylvania now. 11% of the estimated vote is in here in the Senate contest between Democrat Bob Casey and Republican Dave McCormick. Again, it is very early here, but the incumbent Casey leads by just over 400,000 votes right now. He holds 73.9%. McCormick has 25.1%. Polls closed here around 40 minutes ago in Pennsylvania, and most of the vote you see here as we take a look over at the county map screen is coming in out of Philadelphia and Allegheny County, encompassing Pittsburgh and surrounding areas of these two strong Democratic areas. We anticipate the margin narrowing as the night goes on, and the election day vote from heavy Republican rural areas across the state starts coming in much more quickly. This is the lay of the land though, with 12% of the vote in so far. Stay tuned for more results from EP coming up.
Another update from Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate race. Democrat Bob Casey's early lead has shrunk quite a bit here over the last hour. As with about a quarter of the estimated vote now reporting, the senator leads Republican David McCormick with 63.5%, 235 and some percent. Obviously, the race is likely to finish much closer than where it stands right now, but let's take a look at the county map once more to get an idea of what kind of early insights we can infer from the data that is in so far. At least some votes have reported in most counties across the state of Pennsylvania now. You're starting to see a lot more red populate the screen as Casey's early lead was largely propped up by the early vote out of large Democratic areas. This was expected again, we anticipated McCormick would be behind big early before starting to close the gap as the election day vote trickled in. Forty percent of the vote is in now out of Pennsylvania. Senator Bob Casey continues to lead Dave McCormick. He has 58.6 percent to the Republicans 40.2 percent. It's a margin of more than 500,000 votes separating the candidates right now, with more than 3 million votes counted across the state of Pennsylvania. All right, we've got a key race alert coming in in Pennsylvania. Two thirds of the vote is in with the margin separating the two candidates continuing to narrow. It stands at just under 10% now, with Casey at 54.1% to McCormick's 44.6%. Polls have been closed in Pennsylvania for just under two and a half hours. As we take another look at the county map, Almost every county is now reporting at least some votes. Casey maintains his lead in Erie and Northampton counties. Remember, both voted for Trump in 2016 before favoring Biden in 2020 and then Fetterman in 2022. These were two key counties to monitor, and had McCormick taken a lead in either, warning signs may have begun blaring at the DNC headquarters. Right now, the map is tracking very closely to the 2022 result between Fetterman and Oz. At this point, of course, you would rather be Casey than McCormick here, though it will be interesting to see just how close this margin gets relative to the midterm result from two years ago. It's been a little while now, let's check in again with Pennsylvania's Senate race, where the gap has narrowed to six and a half points. Incumbent Democrat Senator Bob Casey leads Republican Dave McCormick with 52.7% to 46.5%. The vote gap stands at right about 400,000 votes right now, with more than 6 million votes counted. And I think it's safe to say that this race is likely to be the closest of Casey's Senate career, with the outstanding vote we expect to lean slightly Republican. Now that being said, given the uphill battle they face in Senate races elsewhere, Democrats will take wins where they can get them tonight, though this margin itself may end up actually becoming closer than Fetterman's victory two years ago as the presidential race effect seems to have pulled the incumbent senator into a closer than expected election here. Here we are, EP official projects that Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey has been re-elected to a fourth term in the United States Senate. 
defeating Republican opponent David McCormick in a key hold for the Democratic Party. With 93% of the estimated vote reporting, Casey leads McCormick by a margin of 4.7%. It's a 317,000 vote lead here right now. Casey holds 51.8% to McCormick's 47.1%. The outstanding vote that does remain in this race may lean more Democratic, as late arriving absentee ballots remain largely uncounted. But it appears that this race margin will finish with a similar margin to the 2022 contest in the state. Democrats have now won three consecutive Senate contests in Pennsylvania and will continue to hold both of the state's seats in the upper chamber through at least 2028. That being said, of the many potential pickup opportunities for Republicans tonight, this race was near the bottom of the list. In fact, even if the GOP only carry states Trump won in 2020, that alone would net them 52 seats in the Senate. With races in Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania serving as potential cherry on tops to what should be a good night in Senate contests across the country for the party. In order to see videos and predictions covering those races though, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. That does it for this 2024 election night prediction. Please make sure to like the video down below as well if you did, and share it with friends who you think would enjoy it. I am always immeasurably thankful for your support, and I hope to see you guys more as we get closer and closer to primary season. Until then, EP out.